Okay, Addis Maximus here. We have DeWalt. I'll call, or I am calling them the second generation demolition screwdrivers, which are through shank, so it's a piece of steel from the cap all the way to the tip of the screwdriver. So these are heavy duty. Although these things have become popular in recent years. I, I don't know. A couple years ago, I did a review of the older school ones with the acetate handles. And as far as the handles are concerned, I still like the acetate ones and the kind of you know, the extra density. These are double injected nylon handles on the new one. So we got nylon core and then like a TPU kind of rubberized overcoating. They have kind of a squarish design, but I, I think if your hands were real slick, maybe covered with, maybe you have dirt, grease, oil, or they're sweaty, you might have uh, just a little bit more of an issue maintaining a grip because these can, can get slick under those situations or when you have one that has just a bit more of a squared off function with some nice little recesses it just feels like these older school ones even if your hands were slick that you'd be able to still get a nice grip on them they did upgrade the shanks they are now hex but they were round on the older ones that way you can use pliers or an adjustable wrench to help give you some more torque these are not JIS tips. This is, if we look, these newer styles seem even sharper than the older ones. The older ones I like because the tips are just a little bit more squared off, a little bit thicker right at the very end. Seemed those grab Phillips screws a little bit better than these style that get just a little bit sharper. But when it comes to demolition screwdrivers or construction screwdrivers, a lot of times you're working with Phillips head screws that are slightly damaged or in particular either filled with crud or painted over and so part of the advantage of one of these well, you can hit any screwdriver with a handle but ones with a through core you can actually put on the fastener really hit it in there and these slightly thinner flutes actually may allow it to sink a little deeper in the screw and in those situations you'd be more likely to be able to unscrew it more the slightly more squared off tip may not but it would require uh, working with a lot of screws <laughs> it's funny on the packaging well one thing I'll give them it's easy to remove so you're not worse than cutting your fingers open with the bulletproof packaging 10 times corrosion resistance not like the old chrome plated ones I had a big issue with corrosion and I'm not sure why they put some kind of chrome plating on the tip mainly because a lot of platings on high strength steels it can cause a chemical composition change at the surface commonly known as hydrogen embrittlement which may or may not mean quite as much for the Phillips but you can certainly risk chipping the flathead they are advertising well a couple things one you can barely see there but they are Taiwanese and up here they are advertising as S2 steel so that's Definitely pretty cool. I don't remember if these old stool ones were S2 steel, but what I do remember is they didn't magnetize these, oddly enough, where on the newer ones, they definitely did magnetize them. Not super great on the Phillips. Here we go. So it generally work okay. I like to have a stronger amount of magnetism, surprisingly enough, and maybe it's because the flathead uses 516 stock where this is quarter inch stock on the Phillips the magnetism just has more material to work with because on the flathead it's actually pretty good for uh, the magnetic tips and so the old ones of course you can always use a screwdriver magnetizer to fix any D or unmagnetized screwdrivers but at least they're finally including that from the factory and finally it may be due to a function of the S2 steel not wanting to roll forge quite as or it may have more likelihood of either kind of micro-fracturing or just not being friendly. And what I mean by that is on these older ones, they actually heat up the tip and they roll it to form the flathead. That's why it expands out like this. But it also elongates the crystals towards the tip and really, and then you reheat, tr treat the tip so that it has wear resistance after they've forged it. And with that elongated crystal structure, they're really pretty well proven where on this you can see where they've machined it out. And so I'm kind of speculating on why that is. 
they even did this little touch where they just barely, you know, uh, knocked the corners off there. Maybe to help prevent flying chipping right at the right at the edges. So those are the, I guess, the Waltz second generation demolition screwdrivers. The handles are certainly comfy. I don't know. I would think that the shafts are going to be pretty close to the same strength, although they may be a little stronger than the newer ones. They were like 16 bucks on the shelf, so $8 a screwdriver. But I think they went backwards a little bit on the handles once again. They're a little nice, but they should have had them just more squared off and uh, given you just you know a bit more grip to work with. And then last but not least, at least in a dull, uh, toolbox, the red and blue is kind of nice because it's really easy. To, most times you'll grab them both, but a lot of times you're actually just using uh, the flathead as a pry bar of types. And it's nice to have the colored rings just to be able to grab it. And on these, they put markings on the base of the drivers, but of course, after you start pounding on them, those will disappear. So they just kind of seem... I guess more value engineered, maybe to make up for using a slightly higher grade of steel, but we really have to do some tests of failure to determine which ones are the best. So in this case, I'd probably go with the Milwaukee demolition drivers just because they have a trilobular handle and certainly are plenty good enough and I think are the same price, but you just get a little bit better grip. I think once again, DeWalt kind of went a little backwards on these handles. Anyway, thanks for watching.